Hey everybody, we just found another group crossing the border. Just got here. And again, we got kids. And uh, I don't know where these guys are from. I'll jump behind you, Jim. But we got. I think we need it. We'll have the border patrol here in a minute. Still coming through, guys. Pretty well dressed. Huh? Yeah. We call this asylum fraud. Come across the border. So we got our border patrol guy here, so he's going to be tied up for a little bit. the kids in order to do what they need to do. So what, he, what he's going to do first is obviously identify, try to figure out what country they're from, and uh, and then we'll go to the processing. They'll be taken back, fingerprinted, processed. Usually it takes about two hours a person to go through the complete processing, <clears throat> and, and then they'll get a uh, court date, and um, basically what will happen from there is uh, they'll end up in a community near you. show up. Oh, Brazil. Okay, we got Brazils. Okay. Brazilians. So you can see they bring these. They have no no shame. And it's actually, today is kind of a, it's been, been a little warmer out here in the desert, but today it's actually kind of cold. We got a sandstorm going on. watched my other video you probably heard about the child recycling where they use the kid to get in and if they only have one child they'll send that child back home after he gets in and then the spouse will come with the child so the child will have to make the journey twice but keep in mind guys as part of the breakdown in our laws this uh, whole catch and release business it's it's absolutely ridiculous and then on top of that our borders are so loose without a wall that the people that we're not catching, the people that are getting by us, they're not being vetted, so we don't know anything about them. At least here, you know, we're doing a criminal background check, we're vetting them, we have a record that they're in the United States and we know who they are, but that's not good enough. And they're going to cost a lot of money. Each one of these people coming through here, uh, you know, they're going to end up getting free health care, um, driver's license, and now they're trying to get Democrats have more voters, and uh, you can see, I mean, our, 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 last time I checked, Brazil wasn't in any type of crisis, I don't know what the uh, uh, crisis from Brazil is, you know, and uh, you can see these people are, are you know, they're not, uh, you know, they got their luggage with them, they're packed like they're on vacation, and away you go, but, but this stuff will all be searched, it'll be searched for narcotics, and anything else but just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the action here this is the united 
Constitutional Patriots, New Mexico Border Operations. Uh, we're here assisting the Border Patrol. Um, very, the Border Patrol down here is squeezed. They absolutely are running out of resources. Uh, you know, they got 10 people down here, but they got thousands of people trying to cross. And it's a lot of area here where it's an open border that uh, it just uh, really puts a strain on everything and everybody. So. So his backup is showing up now. Absolutely taking advantage of the system here. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Anyway, this is Jim. This is the United Constitutional Patriots at the border live, New Mexico border operations. Check out our webpage to follow us. Uh, go on Facebook, United Constitutional Patriots. Uh, New Mexico border ops and uh, Facebook's down today or this would have been posted on Facebook live but they're having problems so I had to make a video of this particular one but uh, Okay guys, we're going to move on and see what else we can find. This will be a wrap. These two guys are going to be tied up. Uh, they're going to have to go to transport them to processing. And of course that's going to take two vehicles away, which means this part of the border is going to be exposed for a while. So when they get them, we're going to go watch the border. And if anything comes through, that's what the United Constitutional Patriots are here for. We're going to make sure that nobody gets across while they're gone. And then if we do find some people, we'll, uh, we'll detain them until they get them dropped off. And uh, well, it looks like we're going to have three trucks tied up.
you know, when you're running an operation of 10 patrols on this area, three, three trucks tied up isn't so hot. So this is Jim. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching us.